today I'm going to uh, do something stupid. We're going to be building a workbench nuke in Muck. Oh god, why, what am I doing with my life? Okay, so that aside, this will spawn up, the seed that I plugged in here as will put us in this. This is correct, yes. So this will pop us into this area, and there's a cave nearby. Oh, the boat is like right there. Holy oh, crap. What we're looking for is that there's a cave nearby. Yeah, over there. It has the night blade in it, which is the best weapon in the game, and we can get it day one. And just basically just obliterate everything that crosses our path. Alright, here we are. This cave has nothing much, but it has a night blade. I, wow, this boat map is so helpful, I already know where it is. Um, this will basically let me just kill anything that I want, without much problem, without much trouble. So this might be my first- Okay, whatever, whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore that part. Um, another boat map. Flint arrow. Iron. Nothing. Okay. Not, not terrible. Not, not, not horrible. I need okay, so we just... So we're gonna be stockpiling a ton of wood during this whole run. Okay. For the workbench nuke to work. Oh god damn it, I'm literally one wood short. Alright, so we have the night blade now, which is very, very good. Now we just go over here and grab some rocks. And there we go, we've got some rocks now. Not quite enough for the furnace though. We need a total of 40 rocks. So this uh, sword, the night blade, will let us burn through enemies insanely fast. They won't even be a challenge, they're just all pushovers. At least in the beginning. So we don't even really need armor at the moment. I would say we have enough iron for a sword, but we kind of don't need a sword. We've already got the best one in the game. Instant death. Instant death. Remember how I said it would obliterate everything? Was not kidding. I'm gonna be running around to a bunch of the, uh, the battle columns and just using all of them. Because the more I can get early game, the better. It'll give me lots of money. Can I one-shot these? Even the buff ones just die. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're going to make, uh, okay, let me, um, wood. Ah, out of rocks. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a cauldron and we're gonna make a bunch of meat pies for early game. But that is enough rocks. No, come on, I accidentally made an anvil. No. Oh, that wasted so much iron. No. There's iron there, though, so it's fine. There we go. Oops. Ah. So we're gonna... We're now gonna make a bit more of the, uh... Dough. Now we need to make three bowls. Meat pie. One. Well, this is basically the best food item. Okay. 
Okay, it's like five minutes into the video, and there's 50 minutes of recording total. So I'm going to skip basically everything, because most of it isn't very important. I'll just keep the stuff that is necessary in. And of course, the workbench nuke. One. Yes. Okay, we're gonna try to get that. Nope, that's just frog. Yo, we got it. Because I like murder. Murder. Ouch, that's instant death. I almost feel bad for them, but they just don't really seem like they can feel pain. They just kind of sit there. Life steal. Okay, that's that's actually one of the three that I was looking for. Not bad. Juice. Get juiced up when landing on crit. I like that. I don't remember if there are Obamium tools. <gasps> there we go. There's the power up. Oh, there's the sniper scope. Thank you, sniper scope. So then I don't think we want to get a lot of his piggy banks because these guys can drop wood. And that's going to save a lot of time. Gold. That's the money maker. Wait, what? What is that? <laughs> oh, this is so weird. The statue, the, the thing generated, and then the Obamium generated on top of it. That's so weird. <laughs> Floating Obamium. Best thing since, like, regular Obamium. That's literally one adamantite short of what we need. It's fine. Um, furnace, that, that. Now we can get started on what the real goal is. The workbench nuke. This is actually really simple to build. So really all we do is we just make a lot of workbenches, like a lot of workbenches. There are 43 workbenches. I'm gonna go for two stacks. Another cave. Not useful. We did it. Finally. Now I make one final workbench. Now we're gonna go over here. Sit down. And now we make a lot of stairs. Okay, so here's how this whole workbench nuke works. It works because workbenches now break if there's nothing beneath them. That's that's the whole principle. And it actually creates some very interesting results. So we're going to see how many we can put on this. Some of them won't break just because they're, they're too close together. I'm about to set off this. I'm probably going to make a larger one in the future. But I'm not going to show the whole building process because that will take... I'll show, I'll show the building of it, just not the obtaining of said resources. Oh, I said, yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, we'll see. Though I do like Muck, a very fun game. Okay. That is a lot of workbenches. I have to break this. Oh my god. Hmm. I think the only thing this needs is more workbenches.